So next up on the list, uh, as you can see from the stream information already, um, something I've been meaning to get into, or meaning to stream a little bit of at least for a while, uh, and that is TerraTech. Uh, I'm actually going to start a completely fresh game. So uh, I have an old save of this already. Uh, my old save's a long way through. So uh, let's just make sure that all the things I was trying to do are doing. See, it's been so long since I last did this that I don't remember how streaming works anymore. Okay, there we go. The thing is there, although apparently nothing's connected anymore. There we go. Excellent. Things are happening. This is good. Let's actually now see if this game's going to start. Now Steam's had to update it again. Oh, don't tell me I can access the Steam community. You're supposed to be not disturbing things. Does it work? It was perfect timing, just as the screen went black. <laughs> okay. So there's a whole bunch of options. We are clearly going to be playing. Uh, I am going to leave the tutorial on, just in case you haven't seen this game. Uh, I really enjoy the premise of this in the greater sort of sandbox style. Welp. Brace! There's not... Okay, yeah, there is us. We have this tiny, flashy thing. Protect it at all costs. Whee. And some wheels. Thanks. I like having wheels. So you can actually just drive a cab around. The cabs have tiny little wheels underneath. And the drill. Ta-da! This is our tech. This is what we have. For now. Oh, look, it's Big Tony. Aha! Now we have more things. Um, hmm. Let's actually do a thing like that. Where's his other silly wheel gone? Made a noise. Whee! Also, like almost everything is destructible. Is it coming or going? Actually, that is a good question. I have to shoot all the wheels off to find the cam. that worried about the lights. There's the column of smoke. Target a thing. Whoa. 
Whoops. So yeah, you're in trouble if you ever need to do that and you've actually run out of money. Also, now we don't need to repair. So many wheels! Uh, just in case we needed more wheels. Actually, let's... Let's try and do something a little bit more sensible than just infinite wheels. Because what we could do is just make the whole thing wider. Which allows us to neatly fit all of the guns on. So, yeah, this game does feature a lot of, like, building, which, if you couldn't tell from the amount of time I spend on things like Minecraft, is something that I enjoy. Um, I'm sure we had another one of these um, laser things. We definitely had access at least to more drills. Was there not a third drill somewhere? Or did that already get destroyed? Looks like that already got destroyed. Pew pew! Find solar generator still. Guessing probably towards the sort of questy type question mark over there. That's not a name I'm going to read out loud. Good for giving us more of the blocks we wanted, though. Wee -oo, wee -oo. More lights. Whoops. I did not mean to uh, rip that off. Need solar generators and repair bubbles, and actually an anchor would be good. Just the solar generator is an anchor, but we will talk about anchors shortly. Yes, this when anchored part is important. Whoosh. There we go. 
all nicely set up. So now, if we need to heal, we can just press the anchor button. In theory. There we go. But we also kind of need to get batteries. Oh, actually, that's the next quest. So batteries kind of do what the name suggests. They store power, like a battery. And what that means is if you charge up the batteries, things like this repair bubble projector will drain from the battery while you're moving, and then your solar panel can charge the battery while you're not moving. Pretty much. Oh, you have guns. I want your guns. thing out of the way. And then start sticking the lasers up on top here. There is one other important thing that we need to find, which will shortly become evident, I hope. Also, that is a good idea. Let's actually repair from that fight. And in case you're wondering, the reason I did that is this helps protect the solar generator. Nobody's actually making contact. These two repairings. Also, would like to have picked up one of the lasers. But. Oh well, such is life. I think we may have inadvertently taken an extra wheel with us. get the laser? No. Voices. Ha! That was time we got the laser. That's what we like to see. Stick more wheels on everything. Destroy this tree, you say. And that is how batteries work.
And now we are healed. We should also soon start seeing the value of all this destructible terrain we have around. But um, this is a game that actually I think does a really good job with its tutorial of like actually making progress basically the way you want to be, but in a way that also teaches you things. And yes, I know I'm not actually now heading in the right direction, but there's an enemy over here. That we can utilize to get stuff and things. Uh, what's the button for? Is there a button for it? Ah, that's how you do it. Trying to remember how you uh, <laughs> rotate things. I'm just going to store this wheel for later. Oh, no. Oh, wait, no, hang on. Ah, what buttons have I pressed? Uh, v and B are really close together, at least on my keyboard. <laughs> I see no problems with this at all. Intro to delivery crates. Okay. Ooh, is that? Oh no, that's another repair bubble projector. I thought that was something way more interesting. obsessed with this thing being symmetrical. I don't know what you mean. Ooh, also... Some nice all-terrain wheels. We like. Hopefully one more. Yes, excellent. as well get batteries charging while we build. Ooh, another laser as well. Sometimes it can be really fiddly to uh, try and put things exactly where you want them. Okay, our batteries are full. Now we got stuck on a crater. Let's go get into fights. You did not drop us any interesting pieces. Mm. 
So getting into fights is like the main way you get experience and stuff. And when I say and stuff, what I mean is also useful components, like spare batteries. Oh, yeah, because we're not anchored. That's why the batteries are going the wrong way. Could have done with another gun, but never mind. I do prefer the uh, dirt wheels, though, over whatever these basic baby wheels are called. Because the other thing that we should start to see shortly is different types of terrain. Hey, somebody likes Pokemon. Which is not a bad thing in my book. Oops. I'm trying to grab that and stick it there. More lasers. Reverse lasers for when things ambush us or, you know, when we're running away. Also, later on, we will get to why this says car. Because unlike a lot of these games, uh, this is not limited to just driving around, although it does start that way. Beep beep. Access denied. Yeah, okay. Rotating anchor. Okay, so here... Why is this one not right? What they should do... Hang on, I know how we can do this still. So... When you're in build mode, there's like a block inventory that you have access to. So you, in theory, what you're allowed to do is store up all of your blocks. Um, this is obviously a useful thing. But you need a way of putting these blocks in your block inventory. And that... typically is one of the uses of these trading stations. However, if the trading station is being awkward, yeah, we will get there in a second. Uh, okay, that's because we don't have an inventory yet, apparently. Yes, we would like a collector, please. allows us to now do this. Under attack by what? Okay. So yeah, we need to earn a bunch of money. 
by basically just doing this. The thimble collector can't hold much, is the big, big problem. Let's make sure our batteries are fully charged again. Just accept all the missions. Even more missions. Okay. Well then. So we have a couple of these wheels at least. we can put those to some good use. So, one nice thing is, like, nothing we leave here is going to despawn. Uh, it might get attacked, which is something we need to watch out for. Whoa, that's not the wheel I thought it was. Well, that's annoying. Okay, guess I have to buy that wheel. Oop. Replace all of our tiny wheels. I'm also going to take these lights off because they have no purpose whatsoever. Uh, and there are no more collectors. Fine. Can't really be bothered with that one right now. Find Crafty Mike. Travel to the trading station. This seems like an easy enough mission. Hopefully. Oh, this is Crafty Mike. He's going to start teaching us about bases. Look at all these conveyor belts. So this now behaves a little bit like that um, trading station, except it can't give you missions. Even more cash, you say? Look, it turned them into shiny things that are worth 50% more.
Okay, let's actually just try and go do some missions for a minute. There's some stuff that we really need to get access to, like the inventory. Oh, enemy tech has dropped in. We definitely need to be careful of that. It is a scoundrel. I'm going to take all the guns. I like the guns. Hey look, I found the delivery crate. So this is one of the easier types of mission. Aha, there we go. That's the thing we want. Don't undo. That was exactly what we wanted to happen. So that thing... I think... It's like... An armoured GSU or something it's called. That basically can suck in blocks that aren't anchored. And store them in your inventory. Which is what this new button is. So now we can have a... Quick whoosh around over here. And so, ooh, that wasn't great. I managed to miss the button. Uh, open inventory. Uh, anchored SCU. That's it. Ooh, also a cannon. So that was it, just sucking up those loose things that we hadn't attached to anything. And now we've got the inventory, we can send that entire collection there. We might find that that trading station is actually doing something useful now as well. And we can also also send this selling base to inventory. We will most likely end up using all of those blocks later, but uh, for now, we can store them. to try and I can get another riser wheel <laughs> so now anytime we destroy an enemy tech we can just do that. That riser wheel is very badly damaged. Or it looked like it was. Maybe it just gives out sparks for no particular reason.
Okay, that seems to make more sense. I cannot buy a riser wheel. Can buy a backup cab, which I don't care about. This thing actually just has no weapons anymore. Oh yeah, also the cabs have like a basic gun on the front. Because why wouldn't they, I guess? Okay, we accidentally bumped into another quest. Okay, how about these resources? these resources. How about now? Oh, so greedy. Basically, he can't do his own job, so he's going to pretend he harvested all the resources we're giving him. So, licenses are what you need to use different types of block. So there are licenses for specific corporations, and each corporation has levels to their license. So you can see here, our GSO license is level 2, uh, and that's how much experience we need to level it up. And you get that by either destroying techs using stuff from that corporation uh, or by doing quests for that corporation. I suspect we're going to get close enough that they're going to attack. Hello, my first tech. do turn faster than we do. And apparently you also get stuck on rocks more than we do. We really need to get another riser wheel, though. Whoa.
Ah, here we go. Trading station SCU is now activated. Interesting. Definitely want one of those. Don't throw it away. Honestly. You just can't get the help. No! Also, I could just send that entire turret to the inventory. That would do a thing. We still haven't done the quest we actually set out to do. <laughs> Also thinking about it, I think we are starting to get to the point where we want to do a shenanigan. Because everybody loves a good shenanigan. Might need to do some rebuilding at some point soon as well. And actually redesign this mass of blocks that we call a tech. You can see already, even with the better wheels we're not dealing as well as we could uh, with some of this terrain. Oh, that's the button I meant to press. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm thinking like over here somewhere. Oh no, okay, over that way. to the watchtower and then along it a bit So how do we get there?
I mean, without switching to Geocorp. And there... Okay. If I'm gonna fall off a cliff anyway... I've also only actually got one Geocorp wheel. That's not a useful number of wheels. And really, we want better future, but... Ah! There's the watchtower. Let's drive up this convenient, suspicious ramp. just need to collect all the pieces if I can remember which category this is. Ah, yeah. See, isn't that easier than lugging an SCU around the whole time? Also, if we're going into combat, I want to make sure our batteries are charged. So that's going to take a minute. So yeah, hi everyone. And I hope you are enjoying the sandbox wizardry of TerraTech. That thing up there is the watchtower that we need to try and take out. With a disturbing amount of weapons range. And it has these shield charging stations around it. At least three. Various bumpers, armor blocks, repair bubbles. Hitting it with enough from here? That's the question. Oh, we are out of power. So yeah, shields take more energy, understandably, when they're actually being hit. So, uh, you kind of have to be careful and keep an eye on battery levels. We do have three additional battery cells, so once we've done a couple more missions and got enough pieces to make it worthwhile, uh, we will reconstruct. Also, I'm just going to turn this sound down a little bit, because that's 
really loud in my ears. That's a little bit better. Wow, that thing is eating shields. And techs. Crap. That's not ideal. To immediately be attacked again. Run away. Okay. Right. Pick up everything. Additional cannons. I do quite like these cannons. Actually, that's really dumb. We're going to want wheels there. Here we go. There's the other kind of laser. Standard? Oh yeah, okay. There we go. This might be too wide to be a practical design. You can already see the cannons doing work. Um, 
might have forgotten to pick up the SCU. That is just barely a possibility. Yeah, this is an unusably wide design. That I'm going to have to fix. But priorities... Yuck. I mean, okay. I guess there is a really easy, quick, hacky fix for this. Which is literally move all the wheels down. Just to give the thing a little bit more clearance. And also lose the ability to anchor, but one thing at a time. Also, a surprising range. Okay. Definitely do want cannons. These three pounders are really good. Who's there? Maybe we stick a rock drill on the front. Okay, that seems like it might be slightly more usable. Oh, I haven't put any collectors on. Can't be bothered to stop just for one normal block. Uh, accessories. Boogie boogie. And a boogie buggy. It's just a cab with a plow on the front. We can use the plow as armor. That's how armor works, right? sure there's any actually interesting pieces there, but... I don't know, maybe we switch to these Geocorp wheels now.
Yeah, that was going to be the problem. Mm -hmm. But what we can now do is see if that works. Not quite. That's going to put it too low down. Yeah. Okay. We can work it out. Maneuverability is a lot better now. As is ground clearance. Whoa, okay, we're actually under attack by the big tower. hit the microphone is a good idea. I don't really need another repair bubble. It could do with some shield bubble projectors. Back to seeing if we can So if we can reliably damage it while being out of its weapon range. Especially since it looks like it has no repair bubble anymore. And it's also dropped nothing of any value. Whoa.
don't, yeah, doesn't work because of the silly. What I should actually do is just leave that block on there as a way of fixing anchors when we want them. As long as we're waiting anyway, we might as well pick some stuff up. Just realised some of our guns are actually not going to be doing anything. There we go. That's better. Now we just need to wait for it to be daytime. <laughs> radar on this. Okay. Oops, wrong button again. make the most of it not having uh, a regen bubble up at the moment. Stop. And let it go shoot at somebody else for a moment. achieved something.
probably that one down there, isn't it? Ooh, big battery pack. Now we can get power and stuff sorted again. delicious water. if that tech was actually even capable of doing anything. You stop trying to attack my SCU. I need that SCU to get all of the pieces you drop when I destroy you for attacking my SCU. Weird how this thing basically stops every time you try and turn a corner, though. Hey, we're actually out of missions. We did all the missions! Obviously not anything hugely interesting there either. It's a Sniffy 2 again. Now we're up to the V4. Did not last very long. But it did drop some guns. We'll pick up the guns. Geocorp fixed anchors. If we start increasing the size of this tech, we might add the Geocorp battery pack as well. But as you might have already noticed, the Geocorp stuff is like huge.
That's an imaginative name. Thank you for the resource chunks. I will make sure to sell them all. We seem to have the advantage in that fight. Ah, uh, you dropped some weapons and stuff as well. Let's steal all of your bits. I mean, some of them are boring weapons, but, you know, you did at least drop them. And for that, we thank you. Ooh, we have some extra cannons as well. Let's stop and try and switch in some more cannons uh, shortly. Box, isn't it? There we go. We got there in the end. And hey, I can actually now see the trading station. At some point, we're also going to have to try and find a salt flats biome. I find it's a good place to put bases because it's the rarest biome, but there are resources that you need from it. So, um, yeah, it kind of helps to to try and set out from there. Yeah, we're actually probably okay for guns right now. I did not realise the drills automatically worked when you ran into things, though. Monkey. Whoa, that was a thing that just almost happened. mark over here. Oh, cool. Oh, that was actually one of our missions. Cut down ten trees. Go find Crafty Mike.
Congratulations, you have a drill. So I also have a drill. Introducing us to base storage is actually really useful. With this, you'll soon be doing all my work. It made a block. delivery cannon on that. Yeah, fabricators are annoyingly difficult to send to inventory, because if you right-click on them, it opens the actual fabricator interface. Which makes sense, but... It's annoying when that's not what you want it to do. actually have some very useful parts. We're definitely taking everything from here. And back to cutting down trees. As long as we're doing that anyway, we may as well get some money for it. Oh, that's not actually a propeller, is it? That's... Yeah. Really hoping it was going to give us some sort of flying block then. But no, that would be way too useful.
and we finished all the missions again. How close are we on our GSO license? 1200 experience. So I think you basically get a new corporation appear every time your GSO license levels up. Clear out rocks. The almighty cube. And mine rubber jelly. And uh, no accessory blocks. is so weird on this thing. Let's just shoot a whole load of rocks. Also over here, there are some enemies. some big wheels. Also a pumpkin head. That does not seem like a thing I remember. Maybe it is. I just noticed that we've lost one of our guns. This will not do. Oh, sorry, we're not supposed to have a block in there with a gun on it. Oh, yeah, we can't put one there because that's where the um, wassets are. Solar panels. Good evening, Philip. I somehow managed to completely lose where my cursor was then. Now, back to harvesting rubber and shooting rocks. At least up until we get far enough to get really interesting quests. And also shoot all of the GSO techs. Actually, to be fair, once you start getting into the next corporation, it actually does start to get a lot more interesting. But then you're starting to get to the corporations that aren't just like, go mine this thing for me.
thank you. Uh, yeah, there's not really a lot that's interesting there. No. Fallen over. Send help. I really need to fix the anchoring problem on this. The only other option, I guess, is we go back to the GSO wheels. Because if we... Hmm. Yeah, so bumper wheels are just huge. And we don't have enough of them. might be an option to consider, I guess. Okay, you're just going to shoot over a cliff. That's not useful. You also gonna just stay and shoot over a cliff? Oh no, you're actually gonna. Uh... Oh, it's Invader Test again. Hi, Invader Test. I mean, you're not actually invading, but. a lot of enemies in very short order. Now please just give me all of your parts. Does that still count as a rock? Oh, it does. Intriguing. Plenty of rocks to kill here. be worth it once we get more corporation license levels. It's 
still can't actually even remember how high you need to get with GSO and Geocorp to um, to get the flight blocks. And we say flight blocks quite generously, because honestly, particularly with those two, it's mostly like hovercraft stuff. It's not really until you get towards like... Well, I guess Venture have some. Hawkeye have lots. Better future are the best, though. The weird mad science corporation. Oh. Big delivery cannon. Alright, let's uh, have a go at the almighty cube. Whereupon we might die a lot. Also, those things are actually useful later. So one of the power generators you can get is um, geothermal. Uh, which you have to place over, like you blow the top off those vents, and then you can place a geogen over them. <clears throat> and my voice is starting to go, so we are probably going to be wrapping it up soon. But we will at least try and finish these two quests that we have first. We need to harvest eight more rubber jelly. Everyone knows an ant. Ant. Move a rubber tree plant. It is something. I concur. May as well go past this station and drop off all our various chunks on the way. Got you like fish! Or, you know, not. gauge. In more wide gauge lasers. And three pound cannons. Those are also important. The picker up. Okay. Oh, I see you've got the big collectors on. So like everything Geocorp, it's like the GSO one, only more.
just quickly rearrange all our weapons. Uh, we don't want to leave them behind. More three pound cannons. It's like the range on these is less good. But typically I find the damage output is a lot better. Small pew 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 laser guns. The Almighty Cube! Yeah, that's the general plan. Hey, I can get out of a paper bag and I've got the certificate to prove it. We don't appear to be doing very much to this. Okay. So we actually got close. But not close enough. actually just mount a bunch of plasma cutters. Let's see if the addition of plasma cutters does anything. Take that, almighty cube.
That'll teach you to go around being an almighty cube. Oh, is that another Thrasher? Yeah. Geocorp Faber. And now we can take all these ridiculous extra pieces off the sides. Given that they existed purely for the sake of fighting the Almighty Cube. Harvest two more rubber jelly. get to that crate. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I can't spell words. Right. That, I think, is going to call it there for tonight. Uh, so thank you as ever for joining me. Um, keep an eye out because uh, while I'm off work this week, I'm planning to add some more streams at different times. Uh, and hopefully some of the people who I know have wanted to try and catch it will be able to then. So uh, with a plan to see everybody again tomorrow, thank you all and I will see you next time. Bye for now.